Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 9 in the Did You Know series as we take a look at more things you might not know in Dodby 2K22. Before we get to our first thing, if you're new to the channel and you want to find out about all the new things, the secrets and the easter eggs contained in the game, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on future episodes. First up today, did you know there is a hidden 4 man entrance motion for the Hurt Business? When playing matches as the Hurt Business using all four members in an eight-man tag team match, it was disappointing to see that the group didn't have a four-man entrance assigned as the team instead used a generic three-man entrance that sees Bobby Lashley, MVP and Shelton Benjamin make their way to the ring whilst Cedric Alexander is nowhere to be seen. Despite this, modders browsing the game files have revealed the presence of a hidden four-man entrance that sees all four men make their way to the ring, however due to the faction being locked when editing teams, it's only possible to assign this entrance on the PC version. Before the Hurt Business, Lashley, Alexander and Benjamin were not reaching their potential. MVP was considering retirement. But together, they have attained championships, made the main event and by the way, earned a lot of money in the process. Alexander, Lashley, MVP, Benjamin about to get down to some business. After watching this entrance play out, it's clear that this is a finished entrance, therefore it's a wonder why this wasn't included in the final game, though hopefully it is something that 2K can patch in in the future. Did you know that British wrestling legend Drew McDonald is included as a local talent in MyGM? This one was a really surprising find that was submitted by UK wrestler Lou King Sharp as Lou notes that British wrestling legend Drew McDonald can be found within MyGM. Drew's inclusion comes as one of the mode's local enhancement talents where he's included under the pseudonym Red Monsoon. If we set Red as an active talent and we take a look at his stats during the draft, then this gives us a better look at his render which does indeed confirm this to be Drew McDonald. Whilst the render for Drew looks to be of great quality, the same can't be said for the character model as after drafting Red Monsoon and placing him into a match, the character model isn't exactly accurate. Regardless of that though, it is a really cool easter egg to see 2K include an actual wrestler as one of the enhancement talents and maybe it's something that we could see them expand upon in the future to include more names from wrestling's past or even up and coming indie guys to help fill out the roster. Did you know it's possible to reverse the curb stomp into the RKO? As we head into WrestleMania weekend, I thought it would be cool to revisit one of the coolest WrestleMania moments to make it into the video game, as the curb stomp to the RKO reversal seen at WrestleMania 31 is something that players can recreate in-game. When this reversal was first introduced, it was part of a special OMG moment for Randy Orton, however these days the curb stomp to RKO animation is used as a standard reversal for All-Stars when reversing the curb stomp mid-move. In order to pull off the RKO reversal, all you have to do is press the reversal button just as Seth is about to put his foot on your head, at which point you'll trigger the reversal animation and launch Seth into the air for the RKO. Did you know there is special commentary for Triple H and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? Previously in the series, we noted how 2K had included special commentary when using stars such as The Undertaker, Vince McMahon and even Eric Bischoff at WrestleMania, however those stars aren't the only ones to feature special audio as David Ray notes that Triple H and Brock Lesnar also have special commentary that recaps their history at the showcase of the Immortals. Made his WWE debut the night after WrestleMania 18. One year later, he won the WWE title in the main event. WrestleMania 19 has since defeated Roman Reigns and Goldberg in championship WrestleMania battles. Yeah, but how about the most shocking WrestleMania moment ever when Brock Lesnar became the one in 21 and one when he ended the Undertaker's streak. No matter when the match takes place, when Lesnar competes at WrestleMania, it's the main event and the biggest attraction. Only three men with double-digit WrestleMania wins, Undertaker, Cena, and this man. Triple H has defeated Booker T, Randy Orton, and Batista at WrestleMania. Yeah, get this, second only to Hulk Hogan in main event show-closing WrestleMania matches. Because on this stage is where Triple H is his most cerebral, his most brutal. 
at the Showcase of Immortals. Did you know there is a hidden four-man entrance motion for Retribution? Earlier in the episode, we covered how modders had found a hidden four-man entrance for the Hurt business, which could only be assigned on PC using mods. However, something else you might not know is that there's also a hidden four-man entrance for Retribution with this entrance motion featuring T-Bar, Mace, Slapjack, and Mustafa Ali. Oh, here come Retribution! Agents of chaos in WWE! Yeah, it's not about wins and losses, it's about creating chaos with these guys. Yeah, harness their collective anger into an entity that's impacted the entire WWE. Well, chaos and destruction can be a great time, but how about picking up a couple wins? That's ultimately what it's about here in WWE, winning and losing. Let's see if Retribution can get it done tonight. As with the Hurt Business entrance, sadly this too can only be assigned on PC, but hopefully it's something that we do see 2K patch into the game in a future update. Did you know that there were new entrance and victory motions that were originally planned to be included in WWE 2K20's Wasteland Wanderers DLC? This one comes from Ace Goodhart, who notes the presence of some new entrance and victory motions that appear to be content that was originally planned to appear in WWE 2K20, as these new animations appear to be leftover content from 2K Originals. The first of these new animations is a special tag team entrance, which can be found in Create an Entrance under the name The Rider. This new entrance animation sees the team make their way down to ringside in an old rusted up car with one of the team members driving the vehicle whilst the other one hitches a ride on the back. Due to the design of the car, it's obvious that this entrance was originally planned to be featured in WWE 2K20's Wasteland Wanderers DLC as it fits in with the post-apocalyptic theme seen in the Wasteland pack, though the motion itself was never actually added to the creation suite in 2K20, and to the best of my knowledge, I don't remember it being a part of the showcase content either. Along with this new tag team entrance, 2K also included a similar victory scene which you can find in Create a Victory under the name The Rider, though in true WWE 2K20 style, this victory scene is actually glitched, as rather than it being listed as a tag team entrance, the victory motion is listed as a singles motion. Due to this, should you preview the motion in Create a Victory, then you'll see the car driven by the moveset man, However, should you assign it and try it out in a match, then the driver of the car is absent, leaving it to be driven by itself. So there you go, that was 6 things you might not know in WWE 2K22. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new, and if you did, I would love it if you could drop it a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features, and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. While you're there, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.